Making our way downtown, walking fast. <laughs> and I'm homebound. <laughs> I think we're we coming up on it. Let's check our map here. Ooh, we're like right on top of it. Here's shooting. No clue who's shooting, but we're just is this it? Listening post Bravo, all right. 10 mil rounds. I feel like stuff out of turrets is always very useful. Why is this glowing? What is all this glowing stuff? I'll go ahead and close that door behind us. Three oh eight pipe rifle. Nah. Got some steel, that's actually pretty good. Ah a little bit right. Oh right there. Nice. That's it. Shotgun shells, ten mil rounds. Low-sighted hardened combat shotgun. How does that compare to our... There's no way. I don't even have to look, actually. Never mind. Plasma cartridge and fusion cells. Nothing up there. Nice. Let's take some purified water. That guy be dead. Let's go ahead and use this terminal and open this thing up. Here we go, boys. All right, well, GG, here we go. Man, we can't quick save. We're going down. Meet me in the trail. It's going down. Today's a singing episode, I guess, guys. <laughs> oh, man. All right, here we go. Let's get it. Unidentified intruder detected. Beginning search. I've been traveling for a spell. I was hoping to have some words with you. I don't want to talk to you right now. Intruder, identify yourself. This meditation is brought to you by Hubris Comics. Let's go. Now's a good time. I'm used to flying solo, but now's an awful time. Working with you makes me think I've been missing out. Let's <laughs> try to select a new weapon. Back. Uh -huh. Especially since you never know. Feelings mutual. I gotta say, you make it look easy. Some people at HQ are jealous. You took the big nap, and everyone you knew is long gone. Now, hear me out on the silver lining. If a human in the railroad slips up, then they expect. Well, I guess I'm a little lucky then. What's done is done. Right. It doesn't matter. For I'm trying to get back to the fighting. I had no idea. I figured you deserved to know. I was one of the first to get the... Since we're trapped. If you ever need to know something about the Institute, read it to me. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. If you expect me to believe you, I want proof. All right, you got me. No fooling you, huh? Don't take it personally. I lie okay. to everyone. Maybe I'm just another human that has people back home he wants to protect. Then again... Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to pretend he was a synth. I don't like being lied to. My relationship with the truth rubs some people the wrong way. But believe this one thing. I'm in your corner. Always have been. All right. Not everyone can. I appreciate that. I gave you is a hard truth. You can't trust everyone. 
Even if someone sounds sincere, they could be a synth replacement working for the Institute. The bitch of the problem is recognizing that 90% of the time someone's on the up and up, and the 10% of the time you're being played. We've it's good advice. It's doing the job. It's time you learn the big secret. Everyone thinks that Desdemona is the big boss. She calls the op. She does what I tell her to because the railroad, it's my show. It's been that way since I found it. Really? You? You founded the railroad? Sure. Me and Johnny D and Watts. Hell, that was over 60, 70 years ago. After a while, you lose count. I tell That's pretty crazy. I get the occasional face change to stay anonymous. Truth is, it takes a lot of work to keep this mug handsome. He's 70 been a years long old way since the beginning. We've done a lot of good, saved a lot of sins. But we're about more than that. We are the last and only line of defense between the institute and the commonwealth. Hell, maybe even the world. You've lied to me at least once. This is just more of the same. Yeah, you got me. But you're going to hear the same sort of lies elsewhere. There's other organizations out there, and in time, I'm sure they're going to spoon feed you their own patented form of bullshit. Ignore the verbiage and look at what they're doing, what they're asking you to do, what sort of world they'd have you build, and how they're going to pay for it. Yo, thanks for the advice. I don't know if it's your good old fashioned pre war values or you just won the genetic. And? At the right. All right. Thanks, bro. For the heart to heart there. That's kind of crazy that he's that old. Fusion cell. Use some more ammo. Go ahead, run. I think I see dance over there. Again. Yeah, dude, that's dance. Holy cow, that's crazy. Targeting card and steel. Armor workbench, weapons workbench. I don't know if I want to be creeping around in here. That's kind of asking for trouble. Alright, everything looks good. Let's talk to him. Every man deserves a chance. Well, I guess we have to go in here. What's up, dude? Excuse me. I'm not surprised Maxon sent you. He never liked to do the dirty work himself. Why didn't you tell me? I don't understand. You're a traitor. You should have told me. Why didn't you tell me, Dance? Because I didn't know. Until Quinlan got that list decoded, I thought synths were the enemy. I never expected to hear that I was one of them. That's crazy. If Halen, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. So, what are your orders? Does Maxon even want me alive? Um... No. But I'm hoping there's a way out. Don't be ridiculous. Look, I'm not blind to the fact that this must be difficult for you. I wish Maxon had sent someone else. But that doesn't change a thing. I'm a synth, which means I need to be destroyed. If you disobey your orders, you're not only betraying Maxon, you're betraying the Brotherhood of Steel and everything it stands for. Synths can't be trusted. Machines were never meant to make their own decisions. They need to be controlled. Technology that's run amok is what brought the entire world to its knees and humanity to the brink of extinction. I need to be the example, not the exception. No! I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I've made my decision. I'm ready to accept the consequences of my true identity. I don't want him to do it. Maxon's ordered you to execute me, and I'll be damned if I'm going to stand in your way. No, I won't do it, Dent. I can't believe you'd risk your life just to keep me alive. Why would you do that for me? Maxon's wrong, coward's way out, losing a friend. You're the proof that Maxon's wrong. You're a synth, but everything you've done has been for the good of mankind. You're right. How could I have been so blind? 
I'm not technology that's gone out of control. I've been a benefit to mankind, not its downfall. Perhaps now that you've opened my eyes, I can consider my next move. Whatever you decide to do, I've got your back. Thank you, my friend. But I have my own path to follow. The only clear choice is for me to leave the Commonwealth. No, we can get you back. The, border, the sooner I put this behind me. Take my holotags. Use them to prove that your mission was a success, or Maxim will just send someone else to hunt me down. Now, come on. Let's get the hell out of here. So we saved him and we can now... We can now lie if we so decide. Um, hmm. There's an ammo box right here. Hmm. I'm sure we can lie to Elder Maxon and say we killed him, or I wonder if there'd be a way for us to, like, convince him, hey, Dance is a good guy. Let's bring him back on. Like, he's... We don't want to lose him. He's a good man. He can help us out for our cause. Or maybe I should have actually killed him and I'm totally getting played right now. How dare you betray the Brotherhood? It's not his fault. It's mine. I'll deal with you in a moment. Knight, why has this this thing not been destroyed? Um He's still alive. Because you're wrong about him. Him! Dance isn't a man. It's a machine. An automaton created by the Institute. It wasn't born from the womb of a loving mother. It was grown within the cold confines of a laboratory. Flesh is flesh. Machine is machine. He could be a sin too! Never meant to intertwine. By attempting to play God, the Institute has taken the sanctity of human life and corrupted it beyond measure. After all I've done for the Brotherhood, all the blood I've spilled in our name, how can you say that about me? You're the physical embodiment of what we hate most. Technology that's gone too far. Look around you, Dance. Look at the scorched earth and the bones that litter the wasteland. Millions, perhaps even billions, died because science outpaced man's restraint. They called it a new frontier and pushing the envelope, completely disregarding the repercussions. He Can't makes you sense. See the same thing is happening again. You're a single bomb in an arsenal of thousands, preparing to lay waste to what's left of mankind. Dance wants to save mankind, not destroy it. You're as delusional as you are insubordinate. How can you trust the word of a machine that thinks it's alive? A machine that's had its mind erased, its thoughts programmed, its very soul manufactured. Those ethics that it's striving to champion aren't even its own. They were artificially inserted in an attempt to have it blend into society. It's true. I was built within the confines of a laboratory, and some of my memories aren't my own. But when I saw my brothers dying at my feet, I felt sorrow. When I defeated an enemy of the Brotherhood, I felt pride. And when I heard your speech about saving the Commonwealth, I felt hope. Don't you understand? I thought I was human, Arthur. From the moment I was taken in by the Brotherhood, I've done absolutely nothing to betray your trust, and I never will. It's too late for that now. The Institute has foolishly chosen to grant you life. You simply should not exist. I don't intend to debate this any longer. My orders stand. It's all right. We did our best. You convinced me that I was wrong to be ashamed of my true identity, and I thank you for it. Whatever you decide, know that I'm going to my grave with no anger and no regrets. Touching. Either you execute dance, or I will, Knight. The choice is yours. I'm gonna quick save right here. And I'm going to try to convince him otherwise. I don't want to go against orders, though. So if we mess up, we're going to go back, reload it, and kill him. After all the sacrifices I've made and all the battles I've fought for the Brotherhood, you need to listen to me. 
you owe me that much. Very well. I'm listening. Trust and respect. You'll lose us both. Or he saved lives. I really don't like you'll lose us both. I don't think it's good for us to be threatening him. Trust and respect or he saved lives. I mean, he saved lives. Whether That's human or not. Dan saved it's a good way to look at it. Countless brotherhood soldiers. Now it's time you saved his. You're a stubborn man. Oh. So, it appears we've arrived at an impasse. Allowing Dance to live undermines everything the Brotherhood stands for. Yet you insist that he remains alive. Which leaves me with only a single alternative. Dance, as far as I'm concerned, you're dead. You were pursued and slain by this Brotherhood Knight. And your remains were incinerated. From this day forward, you are forbidden to set foot on the Pridwin. Or speak to anyone from the Brotherhood of Steel. Should you choose to ignore me, no, you'll be fired upon immediately. Do we understand each other? I do. Thank you for believing in me, Arthur. Don't mistake my mercy for acceptance. The only reason you're still alive is because of him. I'm returning to the Pridwin Knight. Take some time. Say your goodbyes. And then I expect to see you there. We still have the Institute to deal with. No way, dude! We just saved his life! We did it, guys! Holy cow! Excuse me. Wow! A lot of guts to stand up to Maxim like that. At least we know he isn't chasing you anymore. If you stay here, you should be safe. That's an excellent suggestion. I didn't plan on spending the rest of my days at this old listening post, but it will have to do. Besides, you're still gonna need my help. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna let you wander the Commonwealth alone. Got a new now, friend, baby. You better get back to the Fridwin. In the meantime, I'll start making this bunker more livable. If you ever need me, I'll be right here. Come with me? Can we make him our... Can't you come with me now? You heard what Maxon said. If I'm seen aboard the Fridwin, at the police station, or at the airport, not only would I be killed, I'd undermine his authority. I won't do that. But if you need me to take the fight anywhere else, I'll be there. Goodbye, Dance. Farewell. I hope the next time we meet, it will be under happier circumstances. So I think what that means is we're going to be able to choose him as our companion in the future if we want. Obviously, right now, we like we can't have him as a companion when we go to the Pridwin or go to uh, you know any other places where the Brotherhood's going to be there. But if we're going somewhere where the Brotherhood's not going to be, we're going to be able to, uh, to what's it called? We're going to be able to, to bring him along. And I bet he would be a pretty good companion. And honestly, although Deacon's kind of funny, he's kind of cool, and he's been a good help, I don't really like him that much because he constantly lies to us. Yes, it means we should get the help. And I just don't appreciate that. You know what I mean? Like, that's just, that's, that's not cool with me. Anyway, we are here... To check on Virgil. If you guys remember earlier in the episode, just as we were, you know, coming up on uh, Dance's hideout, it said that we had to come check on Virgil and see, see what's going on. We don't know if he's going to be alive. We don't know if he's going to be dead. We have absolutely no clue. Oh, no. Why is this Protectron here? Is he guarding his humans or his owner's dead body? Protect and serve. It's got sad music, dude. I'm not going to be able to take it. <gasps> oh my god, no way! It needs some refinement, but uh, I think we can consider my serum a qualified success. This is incredible. It is a significant first step, but it still only works on one strain of MBD. It will take years, perhaps decades, to generalize my formula. Still, you have my gratitude. You're welcome to make use of my lab. Or help yourself to any of this junk if you want it. In the meantime, I have a lot of experiments to run. Excuse me. We saved Dr. Virgil, guys. What's in his lab? Bottle caps. 
stim pack and a blood pack. Bobby pin. I mean, there's not really all that much we can use from here. Can we have the cat poster over there? <laughs> what the heck? That's nuts, dude. Red scorpion meat. Super mutant bracers. That's crazy. I can't believe we saved his life. Such as it is. That's insane. All right. Job well done, guys. I was kind of hoping for a little bit better of a reward than a stim pack and a blood pack, but uh, I'm just happy he's alive. He seems like a good dude, so it's... It hits me right in the feels, man. I'm, I'm proud of him. All right, cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to travel back to the Pridwin. We're going to talk to Elder Maxon. Obviously, we just kind of strong-armed him, and he's probably not too happy with us, but uh, he's got to learn some respect because we're, uh, we're his top guy. I'll see you guys in the next episode.